So hello and welcome to my channel and today my first collab sponsorship. So it's not a paid video but I am getting to keep all the goodies that I'm about to show you. Um, it's my first time working with Cherries. Cherries is an online store uh, where it's very similar, I'm going to keep saying this throughout the video, very similar to Poundland. The things that I've ordered or the things that are available are similar to Poundland. Um, it has its own app. You will need to have an app to qualify for the discount code. They have, they have very kindly given me as well. So let's get on with the video. As we go through the video, I'll just cut in with a few different pictures, show you a bit of the website, um, just so you can see what it looks like and how easy it is to follow. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. I have left this for nearly a week now without opening it. Can you believe it? So I'm desperate to get it open and have a look what's inside. So just open the box, all the goodies. It's lovely, isn't it, when you open it a few days later because you can't remember what you've ordered. Um, I thought I might get a packing list, but there's not one or not one I can see. So I've just got all my orders on this uh, iPad to this side. So if I keep going over, it's just so I can check what the prices were. So to, to order from Cherries, you need to download the Cherries app. So you just go in the normal app store. Or free to do, very simple. Just a little Cherries app there and quite straightforward getting into it you can sign up with if you've got a facebook page it will let you do it that way so you don't have to sort of remember passwords or anything so once you've opened the app there are a number of different um titles or sections that you can go into to search through which goodies you want uh, you've got new in valentine's day at the moment val uh, health and personal care beauty kitchen and dining stationery craft electronics, clothing and accessories, bundle deals, food and drink, household, pets, home, toys and games, baby party. And I think the Valentine's Day will obviously change out to Easter, Christmas, that sort of thing. So what you can do is either, you can either search for something that you're looking for, or like I did, I went through each of the categories. So the first one I think I chose was beauty. Um, so you just press the button, and then it just brings up what is available at the time to and how much it costs. And you just skip through each of the different items. And what you do is you add it to your box and then it gives you sort of a running total. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order. Just anything I grab out of the box, I'll go through. So let's start with a bit of my favourite beauty. So I've actually had some of this before and I really liked it. It's the Dove... Um, body lotion with coconut and this is a whopping great thing 400 mils oh, so it just reminds me oh it's like that holiday smell you know suntan lotion it's lovely so you get 400 mil and that's two pounds i know i've covered on this channel before i use a lot of body moisturizer thus the dove but e45 is absolutely brilliant if you've got a flare-up or a bit itchy or well, I suppose that's the same as a flare-up. E45, I find, is really, really good for skin problems. I've not had this one before. This is a moisturising lotion, and this was £2.50. And it's not a massive bottle. It's 200ml, but E45 is quite an expensive product. So I was quite pleased to find that. Can't go wrong with a box of earbuds, cotton buds. I use these. I do clean my ear rolls out. And I also use cotton buds for... Um, wiping up makeup mistakes. I reckon I get through at least two or three a day, so I need to have a uh, plentiful supply. So for a pound you get 200, and these are the paper stem ones, which I'm moving towards these a bit because uh, I want to get away from the old plastics, and you can't always find the paper ones, so I was really chuffed to see those. Now this next item was five pounds, but I love the look of it. So this is the bare-faced chick or bare-faced chic uh, natural eye palette they've got a couple of eye palettes on um, the website I was torn which colour to go for but rather than get a couple I thought don't be silly Belinda just get one so I'm really excited to open this one 
Ooh. Very nice. I'm not going to swatch all this because it will take forever. Uh, look at all those. And, yeah, pretty, pretty decent applicator as well. Let's, uh, let's crack that open. Oh, yeah, I really like this. Uh, it's got the old sticker bit on there, so I'm not going to take that off because I don't want to blind you. I'm actually really chuffed with this because there are a few colours on here that I've not got. So this takes us through the colour spectrum. So we go from very light nudes there. I'll definitely use those four colours there. Quite nice as a base and then a few to blend in. And then you've got a sort of, um, mm, what would you call that? Sort of a mauve maybe? Rust there. Couple of browns, champagne colours. Uh, and then a couple of dark ones. So you've got a mixture of matte and... Um, I never know what you call them, not sparkly. Shimmers, let's go for shimmers. So I went for the natural one. They also had a smoky eye as well. So for five quid, I reckon that is a decent palette. Right, I'm gonna jump over to a few different food items now. This is gonna take ages. There's so much stuff, I can't believe it. Box of crunchy nuts. Should have been 2 99 with cherries, two pounds. Crispy swear, swears, crispy squares. Oh, I love these. If you've not tried these before, uh, I do actually normally buy these out of home bargain. Same price, a pound. Um, the marshmallow ones are delicious. They're really sweet. If you've got a sweet tooth like me, these are a great sugar fix. I actually didn't realise how many little, cal how many, how little calories these were. So, um, per bar, it's only 80 calories. No haul of mine is complete without a packet of Haribo. And yes, my favourites. In fact, dare I say favourites, because I do like the Jelly Babies as well. Let's go half and half. Didn't have Jelly Babies, but we've got the Tamfastics. Quid. Minstrels, you know I love these as well. Galaxy Minstrels, a pound. And what I did like about Cherries is they had some retro stuff. Uh, there was a couple of bits on there that I thought, I've not seen those for blinking ages. One of which was Jammy Dodgers. I used to love Jammy Dodgers. These are little mini packs. I think you get about three or four per box. Great for a lunch box for children. Or just for us adults as a little mid-morning snack. Uh, 89 calories per pack. You get six in there for a pound. Not had any curly whirlies for ages either. Used to be a bit partial to a curly whirly. Uh, who remembers the day when these used to be in paper wrapping? Not anymore, they've moved to plastic. I think, Cadbury, you need to go back to paper because plastic is bad for the environment, but these are just a pound of cherries. I was delighted to find these, of course, more sweets. Uh, you got in here, in fact, you get an extra 40%. So these are loads of lollies. So these are a pound. Got some of my favourites in here. The good old-fashioned drumstick. Love it. Milky bar. Tell you what, you wouldn't believe I've got children the amount of chocolate and sweets I'd buy, would you? Uh, right, so what we've got in here, sharing bar. I don't like sharing mine. Oh, it's a whole bar. I thought it was like a mini ones. Won't be sharing that with anyone. Fortunately, Alan doesn't really eat dairy, so that one's for me. Oh, burst. Now, I have a little, a little gripe. These, no, actually, let's be honest. In Poundland, these are 50p each. But sometimes you can get them on and off where you get three for a pound. So I dare say cherries may do the same. Just at the moment when I ordered it, they were 50 pence each, which is the same as Poundland, so that's fair enough. So if you, uh, so what I'll do, I'll, I'll add a bit of information here about postage and packaging, because you do have to pay for some postage and packaging. I have to say, actually, I suppose you can pick a lot of this stuff up in some of the supermarkets, but not for the same price. So whereas you can order a lot of stuff online normally, you don't get things that you can get in Poundland for the same price online. So this is where Cherries comes in. So as I've said before, it is like Poundland, but on their website, on the internet. 
So I know a couple of you, my viewers or subscribers, um, have mobility issues, so you can't get into your town or your local shopping centre very often to pick up some of the bits that I often show on my um, Poundland hauls. So cherries would be absolutely ideal for you, so you can sort of pick all the goodies up without actually having to uh, leave your home. Right, I'm going to do a couple of um, cleaning items or household items next. Seem to have gone a bit crazy for bags. Got quite partial to a bag. So we've gone for, so all of these are a pound, uh, 40 pedal bin liners with tie handles, I like a tie handle, uh, 15 litres. Oh, and these got a smell to them. Fresh linen and summer breeze. Oh, oh, I like that. Now, I didn't know, I knew these that I'm about to talk about had a fragrance. I didn't realise these did, so I'm really pleased about that. Bins, don't they smell? Some bins get really stinky. I often will, at the bottom of where our bin is, I put a piece of kitchen towel soaked in Zaflora or Fabulosa or whatever tickles you fancy. Uh, and then you get a nice fragrance come up from that as your monkey stuff goes in there. But to have the actual bin liner smelling, this is a new thing for me. The ones that I knew were fragranced are these, exactly the same, but these are citrus lemon. In fact, I made a bit of a faux pas there getting two lots of bin liners, but never mind. They will get used. Oh, they're, yeah, they're really nice, really citrusy, well, lemon, believe it or not. I like a big old bin bag, a refuse sack. Uh, always like an extra strong one. So you get 20 here, extra strong, 50 litres for a pound. Okay. Now, this is something new I have not seen before. It's caught my eye and I thought, yes, I like the sound of that one. Look at these. An iron cleaning pad. Now, I do, I'm into Mrs. Hinch and all of that malarkey, and I've seen on a lot of the Facebook pages that you can use, I think it's paracetamol to clean your iron, but I've never quite got round to doing that. So I like the sound of these a lot better. Um, this Does It brand, that, where's that from? The range, the range stock a lot of these. So I'll be interested to see how much they are in the range. I'm hoping to go there soon, so keep your eye out for a haul from there. Uh, yeah, so iron, clean, iron cleaning pads. You get three in there for a pound. Let me know if you've tried anything similar. I'll be very interested to see how they work out. Uh, this is a Whopper. This is the Finish Rinse Aid. 400ml, lovely lemony smell. Um... I'm not overly snobby with my uh, rinse aid, but it's nice to see a finished one. Two pounds, that is a pretty decent sized bottle. Now, one thing I am a bit snobby about is dishwasher tablets. I've tried a lot. Put me right in the comments below if I'm out of order here. But I do find the Fairy Platinum to be the cream of the crop when it comes to dishwasher tablets. They are quite pricey. Uh, I managed on my last shop to get a 72 great big bag full. I think they're about 7 99 or 8 99 from um, Home Bargains, but we've nearly run out. And I do find dishwasher tablets, they're a blooming expensive thing to buy. I do begrudge it. I love having a dishwasher. But they are quite an investment each time you have to buy them. So to find them on here for four pounds, you get twenty-four. Fabulous. Yeah, still got plenty to go. A couple of these little rascals. Um, do you know what? I don't even. Well, I have no. Start again. Um, I'm not driving at the moment. Got a bad back. I'm on really strong medication. I've not driven for over a year. So, car fresheners are not something I even think about. And then I thought, actually, I could use a car freshener in a wardrobe, in my office, in my dog's room. Thinking outside the box a little here, Belinda. 
So this is, it seemed fitting to get this, this fragrance. They are cherry fragrance, a uh, pound a piece. I got two. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to get one out so I can have a smell. Hmm. That's an interesting, interesting fragrance. Yeah, it is cherryish. It's got, I'd say, a bit of cherry and mint. Mega white. What are these? Oh, I know what these are. Yes, this isn't something I've seen. I've seen um, the colour catches. These are the equivalent, but for white. So, colour control. I think that's a brand I've seen before. You get 12 sheets for a pound. And these revive and brighten and help prevent whites from greying. Gosh, isn't that a problem some of us face in life? Talked about these before on my channel, not this specific brand, but uh, dehumidifiers. So I think I've shown you before, if you've been here for a while. Um, for some reason, Alan, that's my husband, I keep talking about him. Um, his wardrobe gets damp in it. He's got like this damp smell. And we can't work out where it's coming from. I've not got it. My wardrobe's next to it. I don't have a problem. So we use these and they fill up really quickly. So there obviously is some damp in the air. Um, again, another pound. Lasts up to 60 days. These help prevent damp mould, mildew and condensation. Ideal for wardrobes, caravans and cupboards. And all you do is just hang it somewhere in the wardrobe. And it's got like little crystals in it that absorb the water. And a little tape measure. Now, boring as it may seem, we have got one tape measure in this house. Uh, but it's usually in a place where I either can't find it or can't access it at the time that I need it. So do you know what? I'm going to keep this in my bag. Because there are quite a few occasions in life when you need a tape measure. And, you know, I, I, I don't very often, I don't know whether I don't see them in shops or I'm just not looking for it. So when I stumbled across this, I thought, well, yeah, I'm going to pop that one on the list as well. So, uh, yeah, pound for a tape measure. There's a couple of items when you look over the website that things come in different colours. So make sure, make sure you keep an eye out for that. So, for example, I think there's a little linen basket and it comes in blue, green, pink, white. And as well as different colour options, you also get different sizes. So, for example, washing up gloves come in small, medium, large. This next product caught my eye. I'm not one for dishcloths, really. Um, I do tend to use kitchen towel all the time, which I know is not very good for the environment. So I'm trying to get into dishcloths a bit. And you know what? You never really find very uh, pretty ones, do you? You get different colours, but they're just a bit... Well, that was until I spotted these. Look at these rascals. They're from the brand Jelly Bean. And you get two microfiber cloths. So they're a multi-purpose cleaning cloth. These were 150, but they're pretty decent sized. Aren't they cute? I think they'd be a really nice present for someone. Um, actually, there's quite a lot of gift ideas on the website. If you just sort of, um, I don't know, think about stuff a bit you know somebody may be moving into a new house or moving to university or leaving home for the first time doing a bit of a, a cleaning uh, bundle or a cleaning putting together a cleaning basket is a really really nice gift in fact i did one for my friend recently she moved out into her first uh, flat and i got a little well a great big box or a basket in fact, it was a it was a cleaning caddy, and I just filled it with loads of different cleaning products. A lot of which you can get on cherries. Um, so great idea for that sort of thing. But these would be lovely in that sort of uh, gift, or even for Christmas or something. I think they're lovely. You've got the big jelly beans on one, smaller jelly beans on the other. No cleaning uh, haul is complete without a bottle of Zaflora. This is one of my favourites, fresh linen, a pound. Yes, you can get it for a pound everywhere else, I know. But whilst you're stocking up, you might as well grab some. So three toothbrushes there for a pound. I think that's a really good price. Uh, I think Poundland do the same, but again, from the comfort of your own home. 
Head, shoulders, knees and toast. Or have you seen that advert on the TV? Oh, it's such a a heart sort of... Tugs at heartstrings. It's that... Um, what is it? It's the cancer advert for children, isn't it? And the little lad with the thing round his nose and then the nurse sings head, shoulders, cheese on toast. Cheese on toast. Head and shoulders is pretty pricey. Um, on cherries, this comes in at £2, which is very... Com Competitive with other shops. Now these can be a bit pricey, I can't they? The old uh, sweeteners. So expensive in supermarkets. These are. I like Candarel because I don't think they taste as sacr saccharine as some of them. Um, yeah, I've got, I'm quite happy with one of these instead of a sugar. So you get 105 in here. It's 40% extra free for a pound. Right, couple of sort of crafting items. So I'll grab these funny faces. These are stickers, and you get 150 in here for a pound. So I bought a pack recently from Poundland. Here they are. Uh, you only get 80 in there. They are Crayola, fair enough, but very similar. In fact, they're a little bit smaller. So you get 80 there, but on cherries, you get 150. So that is a good dip. They're quite nice to sort of wear as a badge, aren't they? If the, the child's misbehaving or being good or whatever. So, yeah, thought they were cute. I also picked up this <laughs> for when Dre is into uh, carrying a man back. <laughs> so, this has got on it some sort of uh, superhero that you colour in on the bag and you get a packet of little felt tips for a pound. It's uh, a kid's tote bag. So he can keep some of his, his little toys and bits in there once he's coloured it in. I thought that was a lovely little idea. A gr again, that's a great little gift for someone. You could sort of fill that up with bits and bobs, couldn't you? Um, and give that as a little present. Great for children's birthday parties. And then finally this. So not long ago from a garden centre, I got myself this. It was actually sold, um, it's called Deadheads. It's for uh, trimming back weeds and heads off flowers. That was three quid. On cherries, you've got a very similar thing. And I'm presuming it's the same th sort of thing, to be honest. It's a thread cutter. Quite snazzy for cutting thread, clearly. Um, but, you know, maybe when you're doing a bit of... Uh, Wrapping of presents or whatever. Yeah, for a pound, I thought that was a really nice little um, little gift to myself. Not that I've had to buy it. So that's it. What a massive haul that was. I think that's about one of the biggest hauls I've ever done. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I really would like you to uh, take a little look at cherries. They've been extremely kind in uh, letting me do that for them and letting me keep all these goodies. And they've also given me a discount code, which I shall push across the screen now so hopefully one of two of you or even more might take a look at that maybe you and a friend could do do a joint order together or just stock up for six months and order loads of stuff thank you again to cherries i know i've been name dropping an awful lot during this video but i've really enjoyed doing that one and until the next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye for now